Well, my friends, are you ready to head out? Wonderful. Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. Mother, I have returned. Rania, I thought, I thought I'd lost you. Where were you? Are, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, Mother. I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the Underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. The Underworld? Oh, I see. In that case, report everything you saw. Commander Branya. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the Underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the Underworld resolve a few issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarok and learned some truths about the Stellaron. I'm listening. Go on. Madame Kakolia. It is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. Mother, you've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Well, the responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Such is the burden of being guardian, to carry these secrets for eternity. So, I ask you to forgive my defiance, Mother. I believe that the order to dispatch the outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellaron, the architects waited hundreds of years. And those outsiders may be the... the... Enough! Ignorant! Oh, you disappoint me, Branya. You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg, and now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum, and suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders? Guards! Take Branya. They are not scum! My entire life, everything you ever kept from me, I remember it clearly now. This time, this time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Why do you send the Silvermane Guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? Huh. I see. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just... didn't expect it would be so soon. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes. I am ready. Mother? Then come with me, Branya. It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. Hotel again. 
classic, unreliable Sampo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. No way! The boss will recognize us! Plus, Silvermane guards are stationed nearby. We'd be offering ourselves up on a silver platter. Don Hung, what do you think? I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. So, you think we should avoid Jepard for the time being, right? He's an elite officer of the Silvermane Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter, we'd be walking right into the lion's den. Hmm, makes sense. Guess we better head over to Sir Ball's workshop then? Hmm. But... We must keep a low profile. We're still wanted fugitives. What's wrong, Zila? Nothing. It's just a little... new. The last time I was on the surface, I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. The overworld and the underworld. We've... We've been cut off for so long. I'm okay. Let's go. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually like this? No. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. It might have something to do with us. The Supreme Guardian has probably learned of our arrival already. Branya. safe here. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing and barely anyone comes in. Just what crime did you commit exactly? They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city and everyone's in a panic. Oh, we just... Not yet, March. Rania said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? Good. That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Kokolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. It was her that ejected me from the Architects. I refuse to stand with her. I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the Architects are going to need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Besides, I know the Architects, and if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy first. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. <laughs> you could say that. We were like sisters once, inseparable. Of course, that was all before she became the Supreme Guardian. These days, I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. If I'm not careful, I'll start boring you all with sob stories from the past. Let's get back to you guys. If long lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, I'm the best storyteller! Let me! Let me! Uh, try not to embellish the facts.
So that's what's been happening. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. After all these years in isolation, and without a single word from below, this is what's become of the Underworld? I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. As for the Stellaron... I know why Branya got you to find me. When I was still one of the architects working in the Scientific Research Division, I was researching the Stellaron. I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Come on, I'll tell you everything. Only a very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmenta or Eternal Freeze. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Spara, the architects dug out the truth long ago. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. Maybe I should be thanking Kokolia. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. I figured out that the Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked, so I was already close to the truth. It's a shame that the Architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. It was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. Kokolia... It's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. She became a completely different person when she took on the Supreme Guardianship. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm, it was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. She gave the order to expel me herself and refused to see me. I never understood that behavior and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Sometimes I even wonder whether she really did become a different person. Is that possible? Perhaps there's a single guardian consciousness that gets handed down from generation to generation. And the real Kokolia has already vanished. Is she being compelled by previous generations of guardians to make such baffling decisions? <sighs> Who knows? But this might make for good songwriting material. Jepard? Not a chance. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. For my brother, orders are more important than anything. Even if you stuck Branya's letter to his forehead, he wouldn't be swayed. You need to choose your words carefully if you want to persuade him of something. It might be best if I talk to him. Though, I'd need a strategy first. Yes. I never observed it directly, but I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellavog, somewhere in the vast snow plains. We must locate it as soon as possible, ideally before Kokolia takes action. Can you tell us the way? Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing. But I'm afraid telling you might not be enough. The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. 
If you want to get to the Northern Snow Plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard Restricted Zone on the front lines first. Even if you get past the Restricted Zone in one piece, you'll have a whole heap of Fragmentum to deal with. Yes, that's where the main force of the Silvermane Guards is stationed. They've consolidated their position there in order to resist the encroaching Fragmentum. It sounds like the three of us and Zila might not be enough. Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? I fear we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time in the North. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. This calls for brainwaves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Really? Great! Phew. It's less scary if someone you know is leading the way. <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. D <sighs> Darn it! I forgot my brother said he'd be around today. Find somewhere to hide, quick! I'll handle him. It's you! I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so tense on the front line. <laughs> things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks has slowed. I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Ah! Oh, yes! That's right. Sis, you look a bit pale. Did something happen? N no Why would anything have happened? You don't normally use my full name. Uh, you said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agree. It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Right, brosish? You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble you. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? I... I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Lil Jeppy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. Don't say that. Forget it. If I don't tell you, Pela will. Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back into the Administrative District. She issued a curfew for the entire city and ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Bronya. Is she alright? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. The Supreme Guardian just said she'd returned. Nothing more. <laughs> well, I was sure worried about her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. She really does tell you everything. Oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time I was here. Let me have a look for it. I think I left it over... Wait! What is it? You seem pretty off today, Serval. It's, um... Right! You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? 
I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning and now they smell terrible. So don't go over there. Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? You must be up to more forbidden research. Uh, am not! How dare you! What do you take your sister for? Never mind. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. I've got business to take care of. Bye for now. Uh, hey! Wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. I wanted to ask, what crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Kokolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian, but... This isn't a joking matter. You're telling me off again? Fine. Whatever, bro. You better be going. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. I will, if I have the time. The coast is clear. You can come out now. my cool when you went for his flask. This is bad. Brung is in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Klepoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zila. I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. I'm certain of that. You sound like Branya herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. I was gauging his reactions just now. Did you see? Unless we have irrefutable evidence, he won't question Kokolia's orders. If you go after him now, our plan's as good as over. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellaron, Kokolia will be out of options. Is Bronya really safe? You care about her, huh? You must have become close friends. Uh, close is a bit much, but I made her a promise. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> I can believe that. Oh, they jacked up security, all right. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brainwaves! Leave it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. Wait, isn't that... Ha! <laughs> Serval! Long time no see. Well, if it isn't Franz, long time no see. You still watching the entrance? Well, you see, I... yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers, so he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. 
Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? N no, that's uh, not something I could handle. <sighs> Seeing as you're Captain Japard's sister, it should be fine. Okay, here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. No, no. Captain Japard hates all that under-the-table stuff. I'd have a better chance if you don't mention me at all. <gasps> See? That was easy. You're Japard's sister all night. I don't want people to see me that way. I'm doing this for you. Otherwise... Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on Earth. An endless fragmentum, a few exhausted Silvermane guards, and the stench of death in the air. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. Are you ready? Exactly. We've got nowhere left to retreat. <laughs> Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. I helped set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them. Is Japard on frontline duty a lot? Yes, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? It's so... Dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Lando. <sighs> nope. This terminal's offline. We can't control it from here. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Japard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. There's not a lot of brother and sister time. Everyone just does their best to get on with their life. Can't activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. I... Huh. You know, the more I think about it, the more it seems deliberate. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or to prevent deserters from escaping. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the Fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. <sighs> Branya was right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabog. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the Fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. a giant iron ball and it's behind a gate what are the odds its formal name is the mechanism energy hub it's connected to all the energy lines i would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone mm. no wonder it's so heavily guarded 
one unit for everything? That's a disaster waiting to happen. We learned the hard way. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Vol. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on, let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Yo, evening soldier. Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Ah, darn, this guy's not stupid. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother then? Uh, captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Why didn't you say so? No problem, we'll be back in a bit. It's been a while. I didn't know you made security, Captain. S Serval, it's been a long time. You're still so... <clears throat> you look good. Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool! Pleased to meet you. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Oh, what's that weird smell? <clears throat> uh, Zachary! How many days has it been since you showered? Uh, I showered right before my shift. Hmm? What did you say? I... I haven't showered in two days, sir. Unacceptable, especially in front of visitors. Apologies for the embarrassment, all. <laughs> it's not a big deal, Dunn. Uh, you know, if you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? My keyboard guy is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Sir Paul. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? Anything wrong, Dunn? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh... Let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. Something like that? And may I ask, when did he contact you? 
Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped round and asked the favor. Uh huh. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could be confirmed with him. Huh? Uh, hold up, he's back? That can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. Still a lousy liar. These people you've brought, they're... They're not workshop assistants, right? Uh... <laughs> Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you. But you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. But the outsiders must remain. There goes the negotiation. I brought you guys here, and I'm standing with you till the end. Dunn, this concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Serval! We used to rehearse together every day, you must understand. My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. Move carefully. The truth of life and death the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let's go. In the name of Landau. Wheel forged in ice, never falters. Let's make it quick. Hope you're prepared. Rules are made to be broken. Done. Time for a little nap. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Got it! The encryption key! Quick, before we attract attention, let's... Attracted attention. That's the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two. If I'd known he had the encryption key from the start, I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. Activating the gear bridge alone would have been enough to expose us. Let's 
go. We caught them unawares. We're in. Good, open. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dunn. Give me some time. Who designed this operating system? It's so unintuitive. Emergency fire evacuation system? Not that. Rock and roll dance floor atmosphere mode? Who the heck added that? And they used one of my songs! Your bridge control terminal. <laughs> Still found it. That's it. I've reset the energy system. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. Um, Sir Ball, won't more Silver Mane guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Yep. Then what's our plan? Well, either we reason with them or charge straight through the blockade. Let's play it by ear. Uh... Careful. There's a big guy up ahead. There's no other way. We'll have to fight. If we can beat Svarov, we can beat this one. Let's go! Is that all? The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Hope you're prepared. Rules are made to be broken. No interest in conflict. This ends here. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. This ends here! The truth of life and death is sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Let's make it quick! Stored, system online, certification enabled. Come on, come on! Percent, 65 percent, 85 percent. We did it. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Let's move. Perfect. 
Okay. We need to get to the front line. We could have a problem. Your brother may be there. He probably is. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Are you sure you can convince him? I've probably got a 30% chance. Or less. <sighs> Meaning it could end in a fight. Haven't you noticed yet? Most of our convincing ends in a fight. We need to be sure, Saval. If we can't reach a common understanding with your brother, will you stand with us? Of course. My word is my bond. I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Before our next expedition, I need Himeko to teach me some negotiation skills. Beating people up all the time is cramping my elegance. <laughs> I haven't fought with Jepard since he enlisted. He could never beat me when we were little, but now... Serval. It really is you. Wait, Jepard. Listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. And yet... Step away from the intruders, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. Give me a few minutes, just a few. I'll explain every- Enough, Serval. <sighs> Have you forgotten where we are? We Landau's ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellabog's most strategic protective fortress. Every Silver Main guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. Yet here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Attacking my Silvermane comrades in arms. Hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? Why do you think I've come here? We've found a way to dispel the Eternal Freeze. To seal the Fragmentum. It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true... Why wouldn't you report to Madame Kokolia? Why would you sneak into the restricted zone and create chaos? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events? Listen to me, Jepard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's... I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. But the Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architects. The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy. That you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge and that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. I believe you, Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. That's just... Guards, formation, arrest these people. We could be inundated with Fragmentum monsters at any moment. We have no time to waste on them. The forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Kokoli is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge. That the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end.
Save your explanation for the judge. You are charged with sabotaging the Silver Main Guard restricted zone. In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. Resistance is futile! Move carefully. Hope you're prepared. Rules are made to be broken. This ends here. Stay focused. Take courage. Landau. We'll forged in ice. Never falters. In the name of Thunderbird and Heal. Have no interest in conflict. The sanctuary is but a vision. This ends here. Relentless. He just won't go down. He's as stubborn as I am. It could be an argument or a fight. He'll do both to the death. That's why he bugs the heck out of me. That's enough, Jepard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. Even if I am, I won't yield. I don't want you to yield through force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours, Sir Vals and Branya's. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. Japard, brother, surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Bronya. Lady Bronya. <sighs> There's nothing more to say, Jepard. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Main Guards, I am duty bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. But, Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front lines. According to military protocol, if the front line directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, a soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. For the Silvermane Guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Balabog. If we lose the people, 
we lose the reason for our existence. Our fight with the Fragmentum monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Bellabog are indebted to you. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Branya for your own ends, I swear by Klepoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. They're not lying, I promise you. You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the guards. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the Underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Hmm. I'm sure. If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. It's the only way to get to the Snow Plains on the other side. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. As soon as the restricted zone gate is open, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the Northern Fragmentum. So, have you made up your minds? Understood. Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. Guards, open the gate. Are you dealing with attacks like this every day? It's a common occurrence. Guards, formation. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. Here they come. Steal yourselves. Chance. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Let's go. You can still surrender. Let's make it quick. Rules are made to be broken. This end here. I've no interest in con. Name of Landau. Will forged in ice. Never falters. Fighting is meaningless. It'll take more than that. Life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let's go. No interest in conflict. Let's make it quick. 
rules are made to be broken. I told you, Jepard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. This is only the first wave. They'll have reassembled soon. I have to! Hey, Mr. Silvermane. Listen to your sister. I can tell just by looking at you that you haven't fully recovered. <sighs> Outsiders. Zila, the second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it. Huh? Uh, Serval, aren't you gonna look for the Stellaron with us? My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. He's my responsibility now. Besides, if I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. I want to go with you. I do. I always wanted to catch a glimpse of the Stellaron with my own eyes, and now it's so close. But I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. Get hold of the Stellaron before Kakolia realizes what's happening. Serval's right. Let's go. The guards have opened up a way through for us. We can't let them down. Hey, March. Don't forget to take a picture of the Stellaron for me. Fragmentum activity is intensifying. Something's happening on Eurelo 6. Shouldn't we go down there, Himiko? <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, this is her first trailblazing expedition. How will she be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? Are you bored, Welt? I understand. But we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. So you think we'll be safe, right? Yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator level imaginary reactions. Relax. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, we could offer a little off site assistance. We will see. Come with me, take Is this the fragmentum Jepard was talking about? Compared to this, the corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. Serval said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Bellabog. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find the exit to this fragmentum maze first. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? It feels like... like there are loads of eyes staring at us. <laughs> this place makes my flesh crawl. Like there are insects under my skin. We have no guide and no way of detecting the Stellaron. We'll just have to advance gradually and cautiously. Don't be disheartened. The stronger the fragmentum contamination, the closer we are to the source. Be careful. Think twice before you interact with anything in the Fragmentum. We're deep inside the Fragmentum. There could be hidden dangers lying in wait. Let's look for other clues first. This is... Bronyas! Yeah, so she's... She's been here already? Whoa! Quick, look! That's Branya! Huh? Is that Kakolia too? No. 
It isn't them. It must be a kind of echo. Some type of residual energy replicated by the Fragmentum. Which means they were definitely here, right? And it looks like they went that way. <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Let's go. Complex mechanism. How did they get past? <sighs> I knew this wouldn't be simple. Oh, wait! Wasn't there some big energy hub looking thing back in that empty area? Let's go back and take a look. Maybe it's linked to this gate. <sighs> I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings, especially this deep into the fragmentum. However,. However... There's no other way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Huh. Even Don Hung the Sensible has his adventurous days. units around hmm. it's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through too easily let's keep looking for the energy hub like it. Hmm. Strange. Fragmental monsters would usually destroy man-made objects. find a way around I've never seen such a desolate place at least in Rivet Town you could tell that people used to live there 
Rivet Town is only at the outstretched fingertips of the corrosion. Now, we're deep in the Fragmentum's heart. Life and death, revealed in an sanctuary, is but a vision. Break! Rules are made to be broken. Hope you're prepared. Let's make it quick. Pop them unawares. I'm with you. Rules are made to be broken. Wheel forged in ice never falters. <laughs> But the 
position. Break! to ask you a question. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. Danger. This is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Kokolia, and the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well, there's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. Then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? <sighs> yes. And Branya may well be the bait. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Branya, beat Kokolia, and crush this Stellaron thing to dust! Done! It took some effort, but we finally cracked these mechanisms. We're one step closer to Branya. Let's move! Sentry posts? There must have been Silvermane guards stationed here once. If there were, they left a long time ago. <laughs> there might be valuable information here. Uh, shame we don't have time to look for it. Looks like another completely new monster! Considering where we are, it would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. I don't care how strange it is. It's blocking our way. Let's get it! I'm with you! Pray. Move carefully. Life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Quick! Let's make it quick. 
This ends here. No interest in conflict. In the name of Landau, the will forged in ice never falters. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death is sanctuary. But a vision! Break! Rules are made to be broken. This enemy is completely different. If I didn't know it was a product of the Fragmentum, I'd think we were fighting a human. Unlike those random low-level Fragmentum creations, this one seems to have a mind of its own. It seems to be able to use complex tactics. Look! Branya and Kokolia's echoes! They must have come through here. Uh, that means we must be really close, right? I sense that we're very near to the Northern Snow Plains. I'm with you. Shadow of hers again. But Branyas isn't with her this time. It's only a fragmentum illusion. Let's get a closer look. It feels like this echo is different from the others before. Intruders. Life and death the sanctuary is but a vision. Right. Let's make it quick. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. And here.
at all. Freeze to death! In the name of Landau, we'll forge an ice. Never falters! The eternal breeze will bury you. Let's go. Is that all? This is is but a vision. Hope you're prepared. Judgment of eternal winter. To repent. Let's make it quick. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. This end here. <laughs> no interesting. <laughs> Witness the avalanche. Hope you're prepared. In the name of Landau, we'll forge an ice. Never falters! Judgment of eternal winter! Stretch. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Let's go! Fighting is meaningless. Let's make it quick. She disappeared. Those stairs. It's the only way forward. Wherever they lead, it must be the end of the journey. To get to the end so soon. I want my journey to go on forever. This means that Branya is up ahead, and so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld. It's all in our hands. <sighs> Strange. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid, but I don't. The only feeling I have is that none of this seems real. It's a happier conclusion. The Express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers. Witnesses to part of a grander story. We invariably avoid getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world. But there are always times when we have no choice but to act. Or to put it another way, this is one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. You hit the jackpot! I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections, but on second thought, not today. Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too big. Right on! But you can say whatever you like. A good adventure shouldn't be full of rules and regulations. Helping those in need, befriending those worth counting on, and saving the world a few times along the way. Getting closer to the Stellaron than the heart of the Eternal Freeze. Did the architects build this? 
very different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. If Kakolia threatens us by taking Branya hostage... We have to save her. The Underworld... No. The entire planet relies on her. No. Do not resist, Branya. Accept the common will. No! I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya. A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. A world that we can guard for all eternity. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. <laughs> and to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, when faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist? To cover our ears instead of hearing the call. It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you! The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will! Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Zila? You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. You wish! We're not going down before you do! Rania! I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Stellaron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself! Zila. All of you. <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. Well, huh? I want to witness your choice. I've told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the Architect's so-called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order. And the welcoming of a new world. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so... tangible. I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, I would descend into torment. Branya, 
enduring torment. Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Branya, throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now. Choose, my daughter. <clears throat> Madame Kokoria, I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I... I am sorry, Mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. Not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you... So, this is your choice. I understand, Branya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the new world. The ground! It's shaking! What's happening? That sign! The fate of the city of Bellabog is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. And you will become the foundation of the new world! You must break the old to build the new. The Supreme Guardian commands you! Rise, Engine of Creation! It's one of the Architect's ancient machines! Watch out, all of you!
Let's make it quick. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. How can we bring a giant like this down? That'll take more than medicine. That's better. Don't worry about me. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let's go. Time for a shot. Rules are made to be broken. The name of Landau. Will forged in ice. Never falters! This is our chance. Naughty child. Nap Their abilities. 
Let me bestow upon you despair! Gaze. Could it be? The commercial district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. Themselves that we withdraw every guard. The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. You, me, and every Silver Main Guard in the city, all of us 
must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right. Revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Naughty child. Never. 
I'm on guard. No interest in conflict. and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. I'm on guard. You brave new world. That'll take more than minutes. That's fair. This ends here. Fighting is meaningless. Lance of the ready. Not a scratch. The stellar arm changes everything. Naughty time. Have no interest in Lance of Blaze. Lance Bower. She will not take away our hope. Is that all? Fighting is meaningless. Hope the truth prepared. of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. I'm on Name guard. Of Landau. We'll forged in ice. Never falter. Lance at the ready. <laughs> I'm okay. Hmm. Nice to No interest in conflict. This ends here. I'm on guard. <laughs> you brave new world. Life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. The power the of the stellar is with me. We will come with the blood. Fingers of the into hope. Name of Landau. We'll forge an ice. Never falter. Just in time. Just a little something. Thank you. Now, Lance the blaze. Truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. 
Expedition. We made it! But, uh, what are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll seal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Hmm. Huh. The storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. Thank you. I'm... I'm fine. Don't worry. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. really do that? Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? No. No. No way. Sila? I... I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie, but it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? <sighs> Mother died to preserve Bellabog. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power. A, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, 
that's the truth, the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical, and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. Thank you for understanding. For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes, madness, evil, dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian and discard my naive fantasies. Sorry, Seal. Please, protect this secret with me, till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the Overworld and the Underworld. Stellaron has been sealed. And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Matt's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the administrative district. I need to tell Jabard. Serve. Huh. Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. Uh, she's exhausted! Quick, we need to think of something! Uh, you! Help me out here! Right. I almost forgot. You're so wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. Let's settle then lead not to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun... No. For Relibok's sake. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. Uh, you drew the Amber Lord's gaze? Right at that moment? That's too much of a coincidence. She probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from Nanook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. Fast. 
By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? Mm-hmm. You bet. You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength, and then... Uh, maybe she should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. <sighs> Kakolia, in order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? Thank you. I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. Oh, what about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Now that Kokolia's no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? She sees things through, and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, we brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the Underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you, can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? Roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly, <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. Do you think the Great Mine was affected by our fighting on the surface? <sighs> Let's hope we didn't cause a collapse. short on goods and materials right now. Oh, well, we actually have enough for the moment. You hang on to it. Hey, are you guys causing trouble again? It's you! Oh, no, no, you misunderstand. There was a huge quake at the mine just now. Part of it collapsed. The vagrants here hadn't stopped to help. I doubt we'd have gotten everyone out in one piece. I was just discussing how to repay them. It's a shame the mining team's hard up right now. Oh, to do with us? Yeah, I'm listening. Well, you mean to say that we're about to be reunited with the overworld? Are you serious? This is gotta be a dream. Good things don't happen to us. Today they do. And you're not dreaming. If you don't believe us, pinch yourself. If things go back to the way they were ten years ago, then the mining team can finally escape this poverty. And you won't have to rely on the charity of others. We'll finally be living with the dignity we deserve. I... <laughs> Hey, 
Thank you, outsiders, from the bottom of my heart. The mining team will remember you as heroes, as will the rest of the underworld. Please tell Natasha that we're ready to get back to work. If the cable car station can start operating again, we'll dispatch a mining representative to negotiate with the architects. Yang put it nicely, but the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not gonna solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. That's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Control, we should get some rest. Oh, is everyone all right? Thanks for your help. face-to-face -face communication is more meaningful, don't you think? Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Branya doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Sparog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. <laughs> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the Robot Settlement. For friends of Clara. How did you know that was Perkins? The, the, the. Thank you for rescuing Clara. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? Outsiders are friends of Clara. Follow me. Visitors, Clara. Oh, it's the variables. There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. 
Mr. Sparrow said it must have been... Recalculating. Conclusion. Engine of creation. 97.66% probability. The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The Underworld and the Overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Svarog... Um, you won't have to worry about preserving the Underworld for the time being. March! Everyone! Thank you so much! I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... But now... Mr. Svarog, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. That's our Branya! Quick as a flash! <laughs> she certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it! If we're not on patrol, we should get some rest. You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way! After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? Uh, I don't know how much of a celebration will be happening. <laughs> but I know Hook and Clara will be pleased to sit with you. For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults. Reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. Uh, return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <clears throat> this is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. <sighs> if you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. And when you're ready, let's go home. Finally. Finally, I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you, the liberators of the underworld. You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Oh, uh, I'm afraid you might have to make an exception, miss. My license has expired, but then I haven't had the chance to go up and renew it for ten years now. 
So, ready to climb aboard? <laughs> Brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather round. The cable car passenger service is about to restart. That's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. <laughs> so this is... the overworld? The air here smells... different. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. <laughs> it's Jepard! Is he here to meet us? He's still on duty. <laughs> he must have recovered quickly. Let's go say hi! Welcome back to the Administrative District, Trailblazers. Trailblazers? First time anyone's called us that on this planet! <laughs> the Architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the Restricted Zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. Thanks for understanding. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Uh-huh. That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to... Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. Let's find somewhere to wait. Guards! Formation! Whoa! This must be it! Citizens of Bellabog, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. People of Bellabar, hear me! Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, 
I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together. People of the underworld. I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering. But I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory. And the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you were not aware of their arrival. But it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Branya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Bellabong, hereby take my oath. Branya, we're back. March, Don Hung. Wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute, but I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation was spinning out of control. Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. My mother... She tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. for her to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Hmm. Allow me to explain. Which means the Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. I know. Our ancestors wouldn't have risked using one if they'd had other ways of avoiding calamity. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. And 
In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo 6 will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! Worth celebrating, I'd say. Five. Two and a half? What? That run of the mill, huh? Hmm. My scoring criteria are different from yours. Uh, anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? Wait, what? No way! We're about to leave and I've hardly got any decent photos. Come on! Let's go back to the administrative district and hang out for a bit longer. She's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? Mm. Forever. But in that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. <laughs> Yikes, so serious. I was just curious. tell you to knock before <laughs> it's you three oh, come on in I was just talking to Clara about you how have you been big sister mr. Vall's workshop is amazing there are all kinds of things I like it here a lot mr. Vall Clara is such a well-mannered kid meanwhile the architects children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old This feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparrow took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Wanna learn some cool poses? <laughs> the photographers at my shows had your skills. Huh? Am I really that short? I thought... Don't worry. If you eat like Don Hung, you'll be as tall as him one day. <laughs> uh, I'll let that slip. Here, keep it. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. Th thanks, Mr. Vall. 
big sister, March, Dan Hong, thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Svara. That's enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. <sighs> we can sleep when we're back on the express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on. Kimiko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do. Come around and have a look. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> What fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sempo Kuski will catch them for the next one. Time? to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? <laughs> you don't have to answer that, but if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. We should be getting back to the Express. Time to find March and Dan Hung. Morning! How did you sleep? I'm full of energy myself. You poor thing! I'll go check the lunar calendar. Today might be unlucky. Did you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. <sighs> The conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, 
yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go. forever. <laughs> You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the express. Hey, I'm not that heartless, you know. Priorities? What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? Uh, of course not. I I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets, parameters, you sure love your fancy words. Ugh, forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <gasps> Come on, Zila. I won't leave you to- Look, Branya! <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But... We will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. Welcome home, you three. Himeko, Mr. Yang! Team Trailblaze back from duty. Mission one accomplished. I'll be Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. I'd say it's a solid five stars. Get some rest on the Express. Your Relo 6 was not an easy ride. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. Which means we need to decide where our next destination is soon. That's right. That's the path of the nameless, I presume. Always on the road, always trailblazing. Uh, I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another? That's exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the way of the nameless. That's good to hear. You can head back to your rooms for some rest. Or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. I'll head back to my room then. <sighs> there I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. We need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellaron situation, you must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. While you were away, Weld and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. Ah, home sweet home! Mr. Yang and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. Where's our next stop? I can't wait! The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. We travel between worlds, like a thread weaved into the life stories of others. 
The universe is vast beyond our imagination. It's a miracle that our paths converge. The fact that we get to know and travel with each other can only be seen as the design of destiny. Thank you for becoming our companion. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. Sure. Oftentimes, those who are involved in historic events don't have the opportunity to see things from a wider perspective. I hope as an onlooker, I may provide some help. <laughs> don't mention it. Welt and I may have stayed on the Express this whole time, but we've been watching over you from the moment you set foot on your Relo 6. Friends look after each other. The same goes for us Nameless. Please remember, no matter where you are in the universe, the Express will always be behind you. It is a Stellaron. There's no doubt about that. What I've gathered so far suggests it's likely that the Supreme Guardian was corrupted by the Stellaron at a very young age. All the tragedies that came after can be traced to that point. On the flip side, we can't judge Kokolia too harshly. Imagine if it were you or me who had to sit on the throne and watch the city slowly being brought to its knees. Would we not question what we believed in? Klopoth the Preservation is known for their... indifference. Unless you become a zealot like those with the corporation, it's hard to share in the Eon's power. Determined to preserve the world they loved, the Architects held on for hundreds of years. But as the Fragmentum continued to advance, their already wavering faith started to show some cracks. And one particular guardian, Kokolia, abandoned the path of preservation altogether. In contrast, you stood your ground and proved your faith in the Amber Lord. Judging by how the battle turned out, Klopoth responded to your wish. Their gaze infused you with the power to wield the weapon of a supreme guardian and to take control of the Colossus. Sure, ask away. We've got plenty of time. Well, it may be better equipped to answer that, but if you want my two cents, I'd say it's unlikely. I guess it's possible, but it would take a long time. I can tell from your report that the new Supreme Guardian of Bellabog is a smart young lady with leadership qualities. What's more important is that she now understands her people after the journey with you. The firm and honest support she gets from people around her will also prove immensely useful. But fate likes to play tricks on people. Even if during their lifetime they manage to make Urelo 6 prosper again to a certain degree, they will remain vulnerable and helpless to countless threats lurking in the recesses of the universe. We can only give them our best wishes from afar. It's virtually impossible to destroy a Stellaron. No one, not even Herda, has found a way to break its structure. The best we can do at this stage is to prevent its energy from overflowing. When the Supreme Guardian was defeated, the Stellaron that had been transmitting energy to her exposed its weakness to us for a brief period of time, allowing Welt and I to contain its power. That's about all we can do about a Stellaron. It may be suppressed for now, but it's only a matter of time before it regains power. But this brief window should allow the people on this planet to heal and rebuild. You're most welcome. Have some rest. You've earned it. So, your first trailblazing expedition has concluded. How do you feel? Be it joy or pain, success or regret, it's all part of the journey. Those feelings will accompany you as long as you tread on the trailblaze, and one day you'll grow used to them. It seems you have something on your mind. Let's hear it. I'd like to hear a fresh perspective myself. <laughs> as talkative as Himako is, we've pretty much run out of topics. I'm afraid not. 
As I've mentioned before, the Stellaron's influence on Urelo 6 is more profound than we might think. I don't think Bella Boggs' fight against the lingering effects of the Stellaron will end anytime soon. But the balance of power is tilting ever so slightly towards humanity, the crucial factor being the hope you brought about. As intangible as it may sound, don't underestimate hope, because the power it inspires has no limit. Like the Stellaron, it's a seed that, that may grow into something much bigger. But, in my opinion, the fruit that hope bears will have a much bigger impact than that of the Stellaron. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I think you did the right thing. It's better to move forward with the burden of knowledge than to tread a perilous road with blind optimism. I remember a distant world where the people were faced with unimaginable danger every single day. But they saved their planet time after time with wisdom and courage. This goes to show how much of a difference ordinary people can make. I hope your Relo 6 sees that too. <laughs> I too wish to go with you, but Himako insisted on letting you and your friends rise to the challenge. I'd been observing what's happening on the ground from the Express, and I have to admit that I got sweaty palms a couple times. I was glad to see you three meet friends you could trust and overcome hardships. Well done. Himiko was calm from the very beginning. She kept telling me to trust you youngsters' decisions. <laughs> and she was right. I really need to stop worrying so much. Likewise, get some sleep. We'll be heading off again soon. Come with me, take the journey The journey. Good to see you, too. Spatial readout. Back to the normal bracket. Star rail stability keeps rising. 56%, 57%. The numbers have stabilized. Dispatch the Express. Oh, welcome back to the Express. You've accomplished your Trailblaze mission. The Express appreciates your help. Thanks to you, the Space Fisher is healing up, and the Star Rail has become stable enough for us to dispatch the Express. As for the coaches, Pom Pom's checked every nook and cranny and made sure everything's in good order. We will see. Don't worry about it. Your Rillo Six probably doesn't have anything worth buying anyway. Plus, it's your first time on a Trailblaze mission, so Pom Pom will let it slide this time. But don't forget, next Come time. With me, take the journey. The destination will be announced at the navigation meeting. For now, get some rest and stay tuned. Oh, Pom Pom almost forgot. There you go. Careful not to spill it. <laughs> Thank you, conductor. I'll be waiting. Right away. Till we to avoid encountering the anomalies again, the express will dispatch shortly and head to a more stable area. For your safety, please don't leave your seat until the express has reached cruising speed. Till we make it.